we are, we are preparing for making nukes today. I think a number of them. I've never seen it before, but it so happens there are six in each uh, box. And there's three small frames in each box. Uh, it doesn't appear to me that that they clean or not, they're not going to stay that long. It's just producing queens, but it appears to work. They've been wax moss in this one to clean the entrance out. So the each, each second has its own entrance. Two in either uh, end, of, or one in either end of four. One each, two in either side, and one in either end, make it six. So, and they stand on a floor, and they will have a top on top. Uh, now, okay, you see, uh, he had been preparing for this for a while, just draw some in at the moment. Here, we're going to take that one too. There are new frames going in here, and uh, there's some other here which did not, were not good enough. For some reason, I need to be repaired. Some got wet and um, rotted away, but uh, he got plenty to take off the Sheet here is full or more. Uh, so with six nukes in each box, there's a lots and lots of it. And uh, now, apparently, it so happened that these frames here, uh, because it looks like a four wires, you know, um, and they just put in, but one of them will have um, some wild uh, comb in it, built by the bees, and a, a queen cell. I think it's inserted. And we'll just look at that later. And they stay there. Let me see. No, it's not quite right. I, I know I'm going to come in that there because see how it goes. But that is the stage when the queen is mated. We'll see how it goes. And then shipped away to mainland Australia, different states. Uh, literally by the thousands. The garden and everything is the church is living in. It looks highly disorganized except for the beekeeping. That is organized. They are everywhere. But they need to be everywhere because they have to move away uh, five kilometers whenever he do anything so they don't fly back and abandon the, abandon the, the queen. They must be there nursing her up. So that's one reason for they were disorganized this. He simply can't cope, but he can cope with making lots of money with the queen breeding. So he concentrated on that, and uh, nothing wrong with that either. Steve has found a queen, unmarked queen. He's now going to mark it. You saw him take it up, and now three seconds gone, four seconds, four and a half seconds is finished. She's back. Wow, I'm impressed. How many hour, how many queens can you mark in one hour, Steve? <laughs> Steve is now marking for you to, uh, on the top. Plus virgin queen. So I checked it. I put the cell in on the twentieth. Eight days later, I marked it. But she's got yeah. brood there. No, that brood's from up down a hive. Oh right, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Okay. Keep talking. Well, that's it. Um, all right, we'll talk about another one. Blanks in. Steve works without gloves and he got a little plastic stool with him. He sits on and takes it with him everywhere. Yeah, and he's right. using the right kind of high tool of the one can be boring. This is the only one worth buying. I do it myself. Yeah, and I see. And the frame looks beautiful. And how this is a nuke that has been put into a bit bigger and is coming on good. Now the queen extruder plastic and um, we are talking about that, if it's worth having or not, but for this sort of operation, let's have a look. Is there food there? Yeah, we've got eggs. Yeah, and they've got pollen on them. We've got eggs. Yeah, they're all in the cave. So look. this is the new generation coming through, I'd say. Yeah. They have stuff with crop put wax between the frames yeah. it has to be loosened first yeah. Yeah, see. storing honey at the top of the they top. prefer to, they're preferring to go down yeah. 
That's a nice one with pollen and brood and honey. So they should work up. Well, I might have to get radical. <sighs> yeah, see, look at all the nectar. Yeah. And they're putting it in amongst the brood. So. Okay, pause. Now we are going to, we hope, <laughs> <laughs> make some nukes, they call it, or small families, they call it in Danish. But, uh, um, Mating nukes. Or English as well, small families. Small families. There's six in one box. Yeah, six. And here is a small square, so it needs three frames in each square. <clears throat> now, hygiene is not really the high priority, nor is it if um, drone cells or not. It has nothing to do with it. What Steve wants is, even if there's no foundation, it's nothing to do with it. Or if there is some wax moss that just gets chipped out, or even frames just a, with the wax we put back in. What got to do with it? One of these frames have to have some wax. And he is now going to shake some bees in, spray it with sugar water. And when they are packed in with three frames in these, and hopefully uh, half a kilo of bees or more, oh, yeah. um, a, a queen cell place. put in. And that is all we're going to do today. This, this is the donor hive and uh, for, for the bees. And uh, Peter here is now preparing a 5% sugar water, water solution to camouflage the scent and the capability of the bees flying for, for, for all that. And uh, <coughs> let's see how it works. I have never seen it before. I heard about it or somebody seen for various reasons. But well, um, don't get too excited. We've got to pull all this apart first. Yeah. Okay. I'm just Steve is now taking frames from a prepared um, uh, family, uh, which has small frames, small square frames like these and um, uh, put one in each of these six. This is the first preparation. I'm just saying if I can now we fruit, have to create a population of bees to go with it. We have some more, but they eat all going. honey, so that was no good. It's probably 40 kilos of honey. We'll bring it home. No, no, until we're ready. Because okay. the shit just sits around. We're now we are taking up some frames, apparently where the brood is, and uh, there's a lot yeah, of bees there, there. yes, the lots of bees. And we see if we create some population for our new families here. That's the idea. Fun. Hopefully I won't get stung. Okay. I got no gloves on. Give us work. Just, just a vibe. Oh, you're going to have to sort of, I don't know. Out! No, I, I might have to stop it. Okay. Yep, a drop them in. Been dropped in, been sprayed with sugar water. And now some frames on top. Yeah, some frames. Some dirty ones. Doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, it doesn't and, matter. Anything, just stuff it in. Yeah, which one did we do? That yeah. And oh, getting, this uh, is perfect. I'm getting stung. And, uh, oh, that's good. Seriously? Yeah, that's good. I don't like it. The beef is well. No, what have you got a queen cell? No. Oh, no. no, no that's we'll tomorrow. do that tomorrow. They've got to get the They've got to get sort of. They've got to get the Because they've got no brood. Yeah. They're going to take po a while to Of course, they can't stay. Steve have found a frame for the next family, yeah, now from a different hive. We can't take too many bees out of this hive. And here it is, the trick. Bucket there, and the spray. But I'm going to mark the queen first. I and? She's on this frame. Oh, is it? So oh, he's marking the queen to get the old queen mark. So trick. we'll put her in here. Yeah. And then we won't lose her. Okay. You know, we won't accidentally squash her or... Yeah. Okay. So now... Give him a squirt. A little spray, both sides. Not, oh, not too many bees on that one, but... But it's okay. And they fall in. And emptied into behind you. There. And a good frame and another two fill-in frames over here. Oh, you got some? I've got a brood one. I have you. So that'll make them definitely stay. Yeah. 
and just another one. I'm just hedging and my bets. The aim is not uh, to indicate mukes, but egg laying queens or B side may again. Mm -hmm. We are next day, and Steve has unloaded, uh, I think. Is it all that we have got unloaded here? Two different sorts and four of them. The, the, the four have six nukes, as you call it, in each. And uh, the other, you've got two, two families in the other one, Steve. Um, I'm asking you a question. Steve. We are doing another six nuke box. And um, Steve found a donor here. Uh, got to find out what is on it. Got to put one in. This is going to be put a queen cell in with later. And for the time being, they get one is. I think you get stung quite regularly, Steve, don't you? Oh, uh, yeah, not, not too bad. Morning cars, you have to use gloves. No. No. Because you've got no feel. Yeah. If you need to pick the queen up in a hurry or... And gloves get very congealed with cloppers. Yeah. It does, yeah. Okay. Yeah, hot in the summer too, gloves. Steve have not put any foundation in this. No. Even if it looked like it is something the bees have put up. Uh, apparently accepting the wires there. Now we've got into another one that fell down. We need to get some bees with this lot, somehow. So, for some uh, reason I've excluded this twice. Yeah, I see there's two queen excluders yeah. there. I think I was experimenting. <laughs> Is that why uh, two queen hive or something? I was trying to, I think, yeah. Trying to get them to build up quicker. Does it work? I don't think this one worked. That's a good honey one. Yeah, they've got something to live on. Oh, I see. I was trying to get a comb honey one. Mm. I was trying to restrict the bees. Oh yeah. It is something new they're trying. Oh well, it's worked. Ah, uh, I haven't got my screwdriver. Damn! I didn't nail it. You have to leave it then. Oh. Don't don't take it up here. No. You? I forgot to nail it. Anyway, I wanted to show you. Oh, well, this one's got a little strip. They're working it. Yeah. He he put a leader in for the foundation and no wires. And they actually build them up. The idea is to have something he can cut out for comb honey. Um, don't even quite agree with a whole lot. But um, yeah, they are building it up. But you'll be a bit slow that way. And oh. another problem is if they're too far to the next boundary, you might not get the same sickness of on frames. You look a bit dark, that one, does it? The honey. Yeah, that's a donor one to give a face, and they hopefully. So I'm just going to put this yeah. one in this position. With these, yeah. recording the point with these cheap Chinese grafting tools is you have to find one with a very flexible end. It's no good if it's too stiff; they just simply won't work. So when you spend your money, that's probably too stiff. This one I replace with a little bit of bamboo. <laughs> Tried to reinvent it. But it really needs, oh sorry, it really needs to be flexible. So that you can slide it under the... I didn't know you had a such a selection. Yeah, because most of them aren't any good. You just buy ten and if you get three good ones, you, you know, you're lucky. So, you, you the way I do it, this box is just to keep them warm. Yeah. So the way I do it is, I put the frame up like that between my legs. Yeah. Now, 
I'm spinning around because I need the sun. Yeah. And I just put this. You have just placed these cups yeah. in there. And they've come out of the hive. Yeah. And they're fairly clean. So the bees have cleaned the cups? Yeah. No, okay. Now we're looking for larvae to graft. Yeah. Most of them, you need small ones. Yeah. Okay. Like that one's perfect. That one down there. Yeah. So you just scoop it out. There it is. Just a moment. Yes, okay. You got it? Yeah. Beautiful. And then I just... I can hardly see Oh, that. yeah, all right. Let me just put it in. Yeah. And I'll... I'll change the angle. See, there's another nice little one. See, lots of royal jelly. Yeah. Because the bees are feeding well because of the honey flow. Yeah. Do if you one. don't have a honey flow... Do another one. Yeah. You're starting up. Use sugar Two, syrup. Three. Like four, that. Four seconds. Yeah. And another one. Yeah. One. Two. Three. three. So if I had a frame, this queen's starting to fail, so I've got to start to hunt for the larvae. But normally you get a whole patch and you just pull them out. Yeah. So this is where I lose a little bit of time looking for suitable donors. So I think that's got one on it. Can you remember how far you got? <laughs> and you you push down. Uh, on yeah, the just and, gently. And that's true for some the, yeah. one, the two they got haven't got that capacity. You've got to get rid of it some other way. See, I can't do this where it sits on the end yeah. and it slides off. It won't. I can't do it. So there you are. That's one, yeah. Yeah. And look, they don't have to be microscopically small, just suitable for growing. You didn't so get any of that one. Didn't I get it? No, nothing there. Steve eats the one that's not Yeah, good. there you go. That's <laughs> yeah, a good yeah, one. Yeah, a good one. Yeah, put it in. Yeah. Before it, it's a really warm day, so it's good. Yeah, we've got the humidity in the greenhouse. A few bees come around. No, not enough. Not enough, yeah. This is the problem when yeah, good yeah, one. they don't feed. So you you don't come, you just look in the last one, see how far you've got? Yeah. Down in the cups? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. So, we and that's that it. More than half finished. We're nearly three minutes gone. How many have you got? 18 in there? Yeah. Get the tomatoes out there. Yeah. He does it in a greenhouse. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny one. You think it'll work? Yeah. Okay. It's just, when you push them off, don't, don't be savage about it. Yeah, yeah but you're... You're pushing off, you're so dead, less you can do it. And you also do that. Yeah. So that you're encouraging it to slide. Well, it's encouraging it. you pushed off, isn't it? So it's a bit of a. But I can't do them, just slide them off. Because um, I don't. Oh. That's the thing all the experts did in the past. They didn't, have, they didn't have that option to do it. No, it must have been. You must have just got under it. Yeah. With it hanging off the edge. Yeah. So that's a good one. So, got about five to go. Yeah. I'd go quicker if I had all the larvae in one spot. Yeah. But because the queen's starting to fail. Oh, yes, yeah, she's a bit. Over pattern. two years old. Oh, I think the new ones, they come within last a cat once in a few days to quite a nice pattern. Can't complain. No, they were good. There's a nice one. Yeah. A bit big, but okay. Three to go? Yeah. we we'll probably get up to four minutes for the 18. That one's probably got an egg in it. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I'll just... We can always put two in if you're not satisfied. That one's a good one. Just put two in and the bees will work out which one they're going to feed. So... Oh yeah, good. Last yeah. one. One more. No, yeah. not one more. I think there's twenty on this bar. Oh. That one. Yeah. Okay. And then I can put that back in my little beehive here. Yeah. Keep it, it'll. It's warm enough. Yeah. 
Any good with another one? Yeah, I've done it on windy days when it's really cold. Yeah. So and I and they survived. Yeah. This might be better up this end, see the Are we on the same side or not? Yeah, but this I think it's better this end. So Okay, you start again? Yeah, it's just great tomatoes here. And uh, Steve got many other things. Look over here. Be pineapple. Yeah. Sweet potato. Can we see it? Yeah, Ginger. pineapple. Yeah. And mm. bananas in the back. Wow. <laughs> and a lot of weeds as well. But anyway, Stephen, I'm, I'm Oh, the weeds are only because I haven't had time because I've been beekeeping. Yeah. <laughs> no, beekeeping is a is an obsession. My number one passion, yes. I'm like yeah. a drug addict. Beekeeping is not everything, but Everything else has come a far second behind. This is true. I don't know why. I think there's something in the venom and it affects our brains. No, nothing with bee beekeeping, that's why. I think our brains get affected. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for people. <laughs> I'm sure of it. <laughs> Many normal people cannot understand these sausage normal. <laughs> I'm, I'm it, pretty it, sure I'm crazy. No. You don't have to be crazy, but it helps. I just... I just love it when they've got their act together. Yeah. Uh, if I'm 82 now, but if I should ever give up beekeeping, I will concentrate 100% on my favourite hobby. Uh -huh. yeah. Beekeeping. No, no, that's all about beekeeping. Just reduce the number of hours. Keep going. <laughs> Get around in a wheelchair and have everything organised so you can just yeah. go up to them. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to do something, you'd go mad. I know someone who gave up beekeeping because of his back, said it was the saddest day of his life, and a few years later, guess what? He went back to beekeeping. Because hmm. he but, just thought... But of course, what else could he do? Yeah, well, he went into supplying beekeepers with gear, but, oh, that wasn't satisfying. Yeah. So. I haven't got a watch because I can't afford it, but um, I think... A bit big, is it? No. Yeah. Oh, he, Steve ate it instead. I just ate he it. He won't go to waste. We won't. He, we he, won't. Steve claims eating these crops taste like royal jelly. Yeah. I never tasted royal jelly nor no lava. So it's sort of like a sour milk. I couldn't possibly comment. Yogurt. A bit like yogurt. <laughs> a sour milk taste. We're getting yep. there. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, three to go now. Yeah. Is that your whole lot you need to do? Yeah, I'm just doing this for yeah. the film. Yeah. And I've run out of feeder hives. Yep. Yeah. So... It I'll, was not really unplanned. I will take it out. Oh, it was unplanned, but yeah. we, need, we need to complete the film. The what? The, good, good reason. Yeah. The, the cells I'm going to put out next in the next hour or so, that'll provide space. Yeah. For the next lot to feed, but yep. these can go back. In. Oh, oh, the new should be prepared yesterday. These can go back into the starter ones, yep. which I've just pulled yep. out. Put put your lid on to keep the temperature. Yeah, and if we get look, if, uh, if if we get a bit of an acceptance, I will, I will just repeat this. This is a bonus. Let you get up. Thirty-five point six degrees are the constant temperature. Beehive hide inside if no disturbance. So therefore. In this hot uh, glass house, he got it in a little thing to keep it warm. And got to go back. Yeah, we spray it with away. water. So right. now, now you've seen that. Okay. When it goes on the net, would you kindly place a comment? What do you think about it? Thanks for looking. Bees off. Yeah, Steve comes. To keep them warm. Yeah. That was on three days ago, and can you count them, how many of these? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Full, nearly full house. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, thanks. We are back. We now got a little box with about uh, 28, 30 
queens. They haven't hatched yet, but they're going to hatch tomorrow. And this was the one, this hive here got six in each. Uh, apart from these two, they got two in each. And uh, Steve will now open up for them. We see the bees coming out. They have been kept inside and being depressed sufficiently. And he will now open the, the what do you call it, a, a plastic cage holding three frames. And he's going to put one queen. Uh, it's due to the pets tomorrow. So timing is everything here. Catching a handful of bees into each department together with some. No, I'm not going much closer. I can see you. I can zoom up on you. You, you can talk. You, you can talk, Steve, if you want to. Uh, he now take one up and will take the cups off. And I think, I understand, there'll be some bees with it. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, he looks like he was taking all six off. There were three of them with his bare hands. They don't sting his head, but I see he flick his hands now in a little bit, some yeah, irrational reaction. It might be related to pain, I don't know. But anyway, this is, uh, in my view, about as fast you can do it in one man business. And uh, he says if he had somebody to help him, he would probably do ten times more. But he got to answer the phone and he got so many other things, cook the dinner, dinner and uh, um, uh, all sorts of other things and, and go to the post office. So he wants to be out here and do just that. And that's then he thinks he in for big business. And I could only agree. I think we got the market. If I say no, they got one in, number two. And now. Can you hear the queenless roar? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, they do that, they no, no queen. So they will soon stop when they get the queen there. Did they fall right to the bottom? Or not? Are you going to take it up again? No, I think we want to see it so you can pick it up later without disturbing him. Maybe he's happy about it. The little land that you signed plastic goes back on. And now, was that the last one, Steve? Yeah. Yeah, it, it took nearly a minute to give six nukes. No, uh, uh, six. Um, they, they are actually not nukes, they are going to bring up mitered queens. So when they are lying, in, uh, lying eggs, they can be put into a cassette with some escort and posted off all over Australia. And he can't satisfy the demand, even that there are several other big uh, queen breeders here. Um, Oh, they need a bit more bees there? Yeah, why not? So, visitors to build up the... They've got to maintain the temperature to... to has, oh, they only got one day to go, so... Oh, there's some bees that want to introduce themselves to me. I, I know the, I know the feeling. Uh, anyway, back on. That was the first six. And we now go on to the other ones. Pause. Yeah, we're coming to the end of this film and my host here is trying to explain something we could not read. We had to go back to the drawing board. And uh, Steve, what is it you got there? Um, this is a queen cell chart so that you don't get your dates wrong and lose queens when a virgin hatches. So for instance, if I grafted, say, say this number here on the 20th of February, um, I, I would have grafted three bars, so 60 cells. Yeah, I would have grafted about 60 cells. I check them a day or two later, and I've got 43. Then they go into the finishing hives, where their queen right excluded down the bottom, and the bees can feed those cells and keep them incubated. But most of the feeding's over with anyway in the first couple of days. Um, and then I have an install date. That's when they've got to come out of the finishing hives and go into the mating nukes. So it's most important we get these dates right. So if I graft on the 20th of February, 
I install them on the 1st of March and I allow 14 days and that's the minimum date that I can catch them. Preferably another week, but they'll be okay like that and that's when they're laying. And then up here I've got locations where I've got the queen mating nukes, except I haven't written the numbers up because I haven't done enough yet to really justify having the numbers. But uh, Seal Bay from memory, I've got 15 mating nukes there. And I had a square for each mating nuke because within each mating nuke there are six mini nukes and I had those numbered. And then I would write underneath the date that I took cells out or the date that I put the cells in so that if a customer wants six queens for instance and I have to go to two of my mating nuke boxes then I'd write the date that I took those cells out so that when I come back to installing cells I can look at this chart and work out which nukes need to have the cells put back in as a priority mm. and that's how that works. But you, you could sell a lot more than that. Yeah. Now yeah, we're trying you, to ramp it up. Yeah. You have an old chart here. I show you in a book I read about from an Australian beekeeper visiting Denmark. And he was visiting one, he's now dead, Paul Eric Sorensen in Denmark. And he also had a had, no sorry, that was Anders Klob, rather. Yeah. There was three of them, but and, and another one. And he had a chart in the monthly magazine in, in, in Australia and it looked Steve yeah, said I copied exactly it. like mine <laughs> how about that they had the same sort <laughs> now Steve will explain something else here on little bits and here Don come closer Steve and explain that we are humans uh, so is Steve too it's possible to forget and if you forget and you can't get to it um, go to church, Steve don't have to go to church, he's there all the time, so you have to go anywhere. But anyway, for some reason, you can't get and get the queens out on hatching day. So you devise something, they can stay put until you can do. Can you explain what it is? Um, this is a homemade cell protector. So it's a piece of 13 millimeter irrigation pipe that you can buy for your garden. It's very cheap and I cut a little bit of fly wire and folded it over. It's and called fly screen in, in yeah, the season. fly screen. And... Tape that on. And I put a cable tie around it and tightened yeah. it up. Yeah. And don't worry too much about this black tape. That was an afterthought. And then... It works perfectly well without and it. Then the, and then the queen cell just goes in there like that. Together with the queen in it? Yeah, it's got a hatch. And he, what do you, what do you do? He still sticks on the on the I put on the bar in the frame. Yeah, I can have yeah. maybe fifteen. So what happened when the queen has this? Then the virgin's running around in here. Yeah, and she'll stay alive, so you can get to the bees, the, get to the queens. I mean, if you've missed the date, because yeah. you can't get. Now, you know, what do you do when you come? You to have to. You have to. You can come out there when you break that off. Then you introduce. You just put some candy in that. Yeah, that's interesting. And, and then, it's, it's, then the use bees, it as a bees, mating cage. Yeah, put, you, the bees release it. And then put that in a nucleus and it'll work. Yeah, in a, in a nuke we'd have bees have been queenless for a day or more. Yeah, as a mating nuke. Yeah. You don't need to have workers in here to feed her. No. You can do, but it doesn't, no, you, it's not necessary. Hardly, hard, hardly succeed in doing that. If you've just got a few hours. Yeah. But no, I mean, She's I right. think escort is only for transit, but yeah. moving it from, from into a nuke, we will not need that anyway. So just put the candy in yeah. there and uh, you can go and put them into the nukes. Yeah. Well, that will about conclude uh, my COVID, no, not COVID, uh, kangaroo island visit. So thank you for looking. Bye.